you know, you told us a couple weeks ago when you were here, you know, competition is going to breed the best player. How do you look at that position as, as backing up like which you did a great job of not too long ago before you got hurt? Um, you know, I just try to come in and stay solid. Um, you know, be, be the guy that they asked me to be. Um, continue where I left off last year. And, you know, it helps a lot to be playing for a coach that I'm familiar with and Coach Fizz. And, you know, it's just good to be back here and have this opportunity to be How did your relationship with Fizz affect the decision to come back and bring him back, all that stuff? Uh, it kind of factored a lot into my decision. Um, I had a couple of teams that wanted to talk to me and wanted to bring me in for training camp, but you know, being being at Memphis, being how I left off, how I got hurt, and then, you know, talking to them throughout the whole process of my return, and then Coach Fitz from being a coach, um, it just felt like a good place, a good fit for me to come back to. Coach says you guys can joke about stuff that you know, other guys might not be able to just because you've been through so much. Is that is that kind of your relationship? Yeah, I mean, we've been through everything um, as athletes, you know, from championships to championship losses to heartaches, injuries, everything. So just have that guy on my side and be familiar with him is great. Mario, I saw you react on Instagram about the president's president targeting the NFL and the NBA. Uh, what was your initial reaction? Um, I just think it's unnecessary. You know, I think he's just doing a lot of things to, to just set things up and make things the way this, the world is right now. And I think for us, the main thing that we need to really focus on is to come together as people, to be united as one. And with the way he's talking, the way he's going about things, it's not it's making it pretty much impossible for everybody to see eye to eye and get on one page. Well, said if, if you guys took a knee, he'll take a knee. Do you anticipate you guys doing anything? In um, as a team, team, we haven't talked about it yet. But um, you know, this is the first day that we've all really been together, so you know, we'll talk about it, see what everybody comes up with. Mario, what did you do while you weren't able to actively play basketball? Rehab. <laughs> um, you know, when it being an Achilles injury on my right side, I mean, it took away a lot of things for me to do. Like, I couldn't drive for a couple of months, I could barely walk. So, my main focus is just trying to figure out how I get back the quickest way possible, um, do everything my doctors were telling me, and make sure I'm on the right track to get back to being in the spot I am right now. Mario, yes. Zebo really controlled the ox court in the locker room. Who controls that now that those two guys are gone? Uh, we'll see. <laughs> I mean, uh, yeah, we'll definitely see. With Zebo being gone, you know, he was one of the heart and souls and leaders of this team, especially when I was here. So um, we're a new team, new faces, and we'll just see how everything goes. You said you were better better than ever at the press conference this summer. You said you were better than ever. The history of Achilles injuries suggests it takes a while to get back. Do you really feel like you can be the Mario Chalmers that we saw? I definitely think so, because I think my wow was that whole year off. You know, a lot of players, they come back within four to six months or six to eight months and stuff like that. And they use the season to try to get prepared for the next season. And uh, I think with me and my approach, I just took the whole year off and really focused on everything I need to focus on. And I feel like I'm ready. Physically, do you notice any? Is it physically, or do you feel the same? Uh, I feel, actually feel better. I have a better left hand now. <laughs> <laughs> so that's one of the things I had to work on all summer. So I'm, I'm more confident with my left hand. So when, when you come back from an injury like that, just rejoining Fizz, make it better in terms of just being able to be yourself and having a guy that's had such confidence in you? Um, it makes it better in the standpoint that Fizz knows what I'm capable of. So he sees that I'm not you know, 100% or I'm favoring my leg for one day or another, then he can tell me because he's seen me play before and he knows what I've been through. So that's a, that's a good factor that points out to me too in this situation. Did Fizz, uh, when you first got hurt, did he call, call you right away, contact you? You guys have been so close, even though you, you were obviously on his team, but um, did, did you guys stay in contact with him at that point? Uh, yeah, actually, Fizz was one of the first text messages I seen when I get back to the locker room from him. So, uh, yeah, he's one of the first people to actually reach out to me and him and Spo. So it's just a couple of people from the Miami organization that I'm still close with that I still talk to. Do you feel like, I mean, your, your roster your spot is not guaranteed with your contract. Do you, do you feel like you're part of this roster? Do you still you, you grind it to think you're going to make the team or do you, do you think uh, you're part of it? I mean, you know how I think. I think I'm already part of it. I think I'm already here. So that's the, the mindset and approach I have. And, you know, with my game and my experience, I just let everything do this off. What do you think of the new locker room? Oh, I like it. I love it. Um, something different. I didn't expect that. So uh, <laughs> it's something great to see. Mike, a different player than when you were playing with him? I mean, just watching what you did last year with him? Um, really, I really didn't watch a lot of, you know, basketball last year. You know, that was my, my time to get away and just clear my mind and focus on me. So um, I'm interested to see what new things Mike has added to the game. Uh, we worked out a couple times together this summer. So um, we'll just see what happens when the season starts. Yeah, obviously, you know, he scored at a rate higher than he, than he ever has, and with your ability to to play the one, I mean, there will be some sets for you guys together. Is that something you're looking forward to? Is when you guys will be out there together? Uh, definitely. Um, being able to play with a great point guard and Mike um, alongside of me would be a great opportunity for both of us. And you know, just whatever's best for the team, whatever coach feels is necessary, that's what we'll do. 
Um, Mario, can you talk a little bit about the, obviously you had the physical rehab, but the whole year away from basketball, there had to be some mental, emotional, you always hear players talking about that side of it as well. Was it particularly tough for you sitting out? Uh, did you feel like you could have come back sooner than you actually have? Um, I did feel like I could come back sooner, but I didn't want to rush it. You know, that was the main thing from talking to my doctors and talking to other players that went through different injuries, and they just told me to take my time. Um, you know, one of the people I talked to the most was Kobe Bryant, and he was the one person that told me to really take my time and really work on everything and make sure when I do step back on the court that I'm ready and I won't have no other injuries or no other deficiencies that will show out. And um, I think that's one thing that really helped me. Did you ever feel like you might not make it back from the injury? Did that ever enter your mind? Did the doctors ever say anything um, like of that? Of course you had those moments in time just because in the process of getting back, I've had months where I wasn't getting better. Like I was at a standstill. So of course some negative thoughts do creep in your mind, but you know, you gotta stay positive as much as possible. Um, keep positive people around you. And that's what my parents did, my friends did. Everybody stayed positive and that gave me motivation to come back. Um, Fizdo was sitting in the same city as you. And when he was asked about what role you were gonna play on the team this year, he said that you were going to play a big role on the team this year. What does that mean to you? And he also talked about your recovery program in terms of weight loss and body fat. How far are you on track to getting there? And what is uh, it? I feel like I'm ready. Um, get back to my playing weight at, at 190, which I've always been at um, during the season. So um, I'm right there right now. Um, I put in a lot of work this summer, a lot of a lot of things. And, you know, Fizz gave me a lot of pointers, a lot of things I can work on to be a better player. And uh, I added those to my game. And, you know, I'm here. What role, what, 